So today I'm going to film a video that I haven't filmed in over a year, which is kind of crazy because I love watching these videos, and I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, but I'm going to film a what's in my purse video. I was kind of cruising my channel, and I noticed that I haven't filmed one of these since I started my channel over a year ago, which is crazy to me, but I'm really excited to film it just because I love watching what's in my purse videos, and because I haven't done one in so long. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I keep in my purse on a daily basis, then just stay tuned because I I'm just going to get started on it. So I will start off with my purse, I guess. Um, this is what my purse looks like. So I just got this like a week ago. I got it from Spring, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like the Canadian version of Aldo, I think. I think they're actually owned by the same company, but I don't know if you guys have Spring in the US, but we have Spring and Aldo in Canada, so that's kind of confusing. But you can Google it and I'll put a link in the down bar for you guys. But yeah, I got it from a store called Spring and this is called the Ed Roma bag? Ed Roma, I think it is. I'll put that down below too, but that's the name of it. It was $40, um, which I think is an awesome deal for a bag. I think it's really good quality so far. It's holding up amazing, and I'm really, really happy with it. I like how open it is, and I've gotten tons of compliments on it too. Like, every time I leave it laying in the staff room at work, people are like, Oh my god, I love that purse. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. But that is all about my bag, so now I guess I will get started on showing you guys what I keep inside of it. So when I reach in, the first thing that I grab is my makeup bag. I just got this like a week ago too because I got a new purse. Um, I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's by Quo, and it's just like a little pink leopard print type of pattern. I guess I can show you guys what I keep inside really quick. I have an EOS lip balm. This is the mint one. I have a Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. I love this stuff. I have a Sigma Large Powder Brush. This is an F30. I think it's the small travel size, so it fits in my bag really nicely. That's why I like it. Um, I have the lipstick that I'm wearing today. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Beso or Beso. I'm not sure how you say that, but this is what it looks like. And then I have the lip liner that I have on as well. This is an Annabelle lip liner in the color Cherry. So those are the two red colors that I have on today. I have a concealer. This is my L'Oreal True Match concealer. I talk about this all the time, but I like to carry that with me because I like to touch up throughout the day. I have my two mascaras. These were in my September favorites. It's my Stila Forever Your Curl Mascara and the CoverGirl Lash Last 24 Hour Mascara. So that's kind of my lash combo right now. I like to touch that up throughout the day as well. Um, I have a Soft Lips Chapstick in here. This is in the flavor Coconut Cream. These are pretty nice. I like the way it smells and I always have chapped lips because I wear lipstick so often so I have to keep that on me. And then I have my Stila Eyebrow Product. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Color. Um, just in case my brows start to look a little funky throughout the day, I like to touch those up and keep them looking fierce all day long. And then the last thing that I have in here is my Prada Candy Roller Ball. This was in my favorites as well and this is like my favorite perfume so I like to keep that on me um, so that I can touch up my perfume throughout the day as well. So that is what I carry in my little makeup bag with me every day. Just kind of make my essentials. Next I have my wallet. I also got this from spring the same day that I bought the bag. I don't know what this is called. I'll find it online though. I'll put that for you guys as well and I'll put the name right here. Um, but it's just kind of like a dark burgundy maroon type color. I didn't want an all black wallet just because I like to be able to see my wallet as soon as I look in my purse. So I don't usually like to get the same color of wallet as purse just because I feel like that blends in too much. Um, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So it's got a lot of stuff. I've got some cards, my essentials. Um, got some cash in there. What else do I have in here? I have a bus pass. This is um, the bus pass that my grandma gave me. It was for November 2012, but it was like the last thing that she gave me because she gave it to me November 1st and then she passed away like the end of December. So I just kind of kept it as like my lucky keepsake from her, I guess. Let's see what else I have in my wallet. I have a receipt from the bank from taking out that cash. I guess I don't need that anymore. And that's it. I've got some change in here and stuff, but I'm not going to go through all my cards and show you guys all that because it's kind of personal. So that's what's in my wallet, and that's what my wallet looks like once again. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have my phone, of course. I always keep this on me. It's usually in my purse because I don't really have, like, pockets on me or anything. Um, the phone case that I have on it is from Aritzia. It's TNA. It's just, like, a black one, and it has, like, the TNA symbol, like 
engrooved in it, if that's a word, <laughs> but it's just like, oh, engraved, I guess would be the word, engraved in it. Um, so it's just all black. I like to keep my stuff really simple. I don't like loud patterns, anything like that. What else? I've got comb. I like to comb my eyelashes throughout the day if they start to get clumpy. And sometimes I like to just throw a little bit of like a tease in my hair to keep it full of volume. I have a Viva La Juicy body lotion. I just kind of slap this on my arms and stuff if they start to get dry and it smells really good. Viva La Juicy is one of my favorite perfumes and so it smells really good and I like that. And it doesn't um, clash with my Prada Candy perfume very much I don't find because they're both really sweet so that works out. I have my swipe card for work. I always keep this on me because I work like almost every single day and I always forget it at home if I don't keep it on me. I have my phone charger. I like to carry this on me because I'm one of those people who's like on my phone 24-7. So I hate being stuck with a dead phone because it dies like all the time on me. So I guess that's why I carry that on me just because it comes in handy and I'd rather have it than not have it. Um, what else? I have a hair elastic because I'm one of those people who like will get this random urge to get my hair just off my neck and off my face like all of a sudden I'll be good and then it'll just like drive me insane and I have to put it up so I always have a hair elastic on me usually it's on my wrist but I guess now it's in my purse um what else I've got two random makeup stragglers in here I have a Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick this is one of the matte lipsticks this is in the color 107 really pretty color it's like a deep berry color super pretty for fall you guys should try it out but I've been wearing it lately and I think I wore it the other day so that's probably why it's in there and then I have benefit gimme brow this is amazing I just tried this for the first time the other day and I'm like addicted to it you guys need to try it if you're like an eyebrow fanatic like I am but it's like a brow gel basically except it's supposed to like give your eyebrows volume so they're not like flat to your face but it really does work and I love it so um, yeah, I guess that's why that's in there. I probably just tossed it in there before I went to work the other day. Um, that's it for the main compartment. So this is what the inside of my purse looks like. It's basically just like a big empty compartment. And then there's like two slots for your phone and whatever else. And then there's a zipper, which I'm going to go into now. So in the zipper... I have a Revlon nail file because I like to file my nails at like the most random times of the day. If I feel like even like the slightest little uneven um, dent in my nails or anything like that, like I have to file it out just because it'll drive me crazy. So I usually carry a nail file on me just in case. I have some Quo um, makeup remover wipes. These are like a little mini pack. They're actually for your eyes. Um, but I just use them for like all over like if I'm gonna sleep out or whatever I like to take my makeup off and I don't like to be stuck without something like this So I always like carry like a little pack of wipes on me at all time just for that reason um, Then I have a Compact this is probably blind you guys because it's like blinged out and my lights will shine off of it But it's just like a little mirror compact just in case because not all of my um, makeup have mirrors on it, so I like to have that just in case. And I've got a Quo eyelash comb. It's like a folding lash comb, so I can comb out my eyelashes and my eyebrows. It has like a little eyebrow one on the other end. I don't really use that that often, but it's in there because it's tiny and it works. And the last thing that I have in my purse is Tic Tacs because I like to keep fresh at all times so I always have like Tic Tacs or gum or mints or candy on me or something at all times just because I always get the urge to especially if I'm like eating or drinking something so gotta have those and that is actually it for what is in my purse so here's my purse once again if you guys want to see it like I said I will put all the links for it down below for you guys and all the info that you guys need to know um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that it's as fun as all the other What's In My Purse videos are, because I love to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have all that linked down below for you guys. I feel like my Instagram has, like, tons of followers, but my Twitter just doesn't for some reason. Like, it takes a long time to get Twitter followers. I don't know if it's just me, but you guys should definitely go follow me on Twitter, because I feel like it's the easiest way for me to interact with you guys, and, like, keep you guys updated and stuff so definitely go check that out if you guys are not following me already um yeah thanks for watching you guys i love you all so much and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video